Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm gonna to do something just a little bit different, something I haven't done before. Uh, my son, older son's wedding's coming up in a couple weeks, and I've agreed to uh, go ahead and do the uh, rehearsal dinner, have it at our house, and um, we're gonna have about 35 or so people over. And what I'm gonna do is make a taco bar, a big taco bar, and I'm gonna have uh, a couple different meats and stuff for the tacos and all the other accompaniments. But one of the things it. I've never made before um, for something like this is carnitas. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to run a test recipe uh, for our lunch tomorrow. Um, so in a couple weeks when I have to do it for the wedding, I, I got the recipe down. So what I'm going to take, this is about an eight pound pork butt that's a bone in. And I'm going to use that for our carnitas. I'm going to use a little bit of this mojo marinade we're going to sous vide this in the in, in with the marinade in the uh in our cooler outside and i'm going to do it for 24 hours at 165. so i'm going to cook it a little hotter because we do want this pull apart for we're tacos. Cook it, like i said sous vide for 24 hours at 165. then we're going to pull it out and then we're going to crisp it up on the grill before we serve it. next i'm going to mix up my marinade first and i'm going to put it in this bowl and what i'm going to do is get that all mixed up and then when I cut this uh, pork up, I'm going to throw that in the bowl and then mix it up with the, uh, the pork. So I'm going to go ahead and dump. I got about two tablespoons of the dehydrated onion, about a tablespoon each of black pepper and, and kosher salt, and about four tablespoons of that taco seasoning, and then about another tablespoon of the garlic powder. So there are all my dry ingredients. Now I'm going to put about, I'm going to eyeball this, but I'm going to put about a half a cup of this mojo marinade in there. And this has got a lot of that seasoning in it already. So it's a little over a half a cup. It'll be fine. Then I'm going to put my um, lime and lemon it. in there. Squeeze it into my hand so that I can get the seeds. All right, I'm going to take my whisk and just kind of whisk all these ingredients together. And if it seems a little too dry or too wet, you can, um, if it's a little too dry, you can add a little bit more of the mojo marinade or you can add a little bit of uh, a dressing or something to it, a little oil. I'm going to add just a little bit more of this mojo marinade that I'm all mixed start together this pork butt and I'm just going to cut it not too small pieces just um, good sized hunks like this because what we want to do we want it to you know like I said the more surface area we have that this marinade is going to cover the better so you know I would just cut it into hand fist sized chunks make sure you keep all that fat on there that fat's going to help this uh, taste really good. All right, guys, I got really it all good. chopped up and put in the bowl with the marinade. And all I'm going to do is just make sure I mix this all up real well, that the marinade coats the uh, pork really good. We're gonna All we're going to do is throw all this into the sous vide bag anyway. So we can also, when we, once we get it in the bag, make sure it's um, all mixed together real well as, also. So... I'm going to go ahead and mix this up really good and then we're going to throw it in the CV bag. Since so I got a lot right of pork, back. I'm going to use one of my expandable bags. And uh, what I've done is I fold it over the outside edge here just so that I can have a clean edge when I go to vacuum seal it. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss these pork pieces right into the bag. Should get any of that little bit of that. So I got it all Make in the bag in now. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this. And we're going to seal it in the vacuum sealer. And since we got some moisture in there, I'm going to use the moist setting. But I actually cut the bag a little longer than is necessary so that um, we have some more space. For that moisture. Uh, 
And like always, when I use these big thick bags, and just about any time, I double seal the vacuum sealer bags just to make sure, especially when we're doing hotter, longer cooks like this. And especially since we're using the plated bag, so. Like I said, I just pop the top, hit the uh, seal bar one more time, and then we're going to get ready to throw these in the sous vide. And I will. In 24 hours the pork is done cooking in the sous vide and there's lots of lots and lots of fat and juice in there and I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the bag I'm gonna throw it, it in this pan broken down then I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the taco seasoning and a little bit of the lemon pepper kind of keep that um, keep that uh, tropical type taste to it so I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the bag put it in this pan all right all what I've done is I've got my grill uh, my pellet grill cranked up all the way um, about 10 15 minutes ago so it's getting close to uh, maxing out the temp so I got my pork I'll put in here in this container and like I said I'm gonna go ahead and just add just a little bit more of the taco seasoning not a whole ton because it's already seasoned pretty good and then I'm gonna hit it with a little lemon pepper not a ton like I said just get a little bit more of that lemony taste and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands to just mix it all up break it all down and then we're gonna throw it on the grill and let it get crisped up at a real high temperature all right guys it is done it's got just a little bit of color to it there heated it up pretty good got a nice uh, crispy crust on top and I'm gonna go ahead just make me a little bite here. Kind of mix it up. It's nice and hot. But I'm going to make it like I was going to make my own taco here. There we go. There you go. Looks just like a nice little carnitas taco. I'm going to go ahead and fold it up. Take a bite. Hmm. Still nice and hot. I can taste that uh, mojo and then the taco seasoning. Just a hint, not too strong. But cooking it sous vide makes it really easy. I can just throw it in, keep it in there for 24 hours. Not have to worry about it. Just let it cook out there in the uh, cooler. Throw it on the grill for 15, 20 minutes, get it a nice color, and it turns out perfect. So give it a try, guys. Make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks and again. I'll see you on the next video.